Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello and welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. All right, so we're gonna do, um, let's see, let's not do the pure love, let's do the let go. Let's let go today. Okay, so I'm just gonna play around today. Um, so I have three tarot decks here that are not full tarot decks. So we're gonna do a pick a deck. <coughs> okay. And I'd like to invite in the loving angels. Good nature for your highest good and for the good of others. Guide us to what we need to know today. This is a collective reading. So I'm supposed to cut the wick off so it doesn't do that because it's all crazy. <laughs> um, Okay, so we have, we have the dog tarot, which is the first one. We have Banksy tarot, which is the second pile. And we have the audacity deck, which is the third pile. Okay. So I didn't really think this through that much. I was just like, yeah, let's do it. Let's get this going. So um, I do have my Oracle cards over here as well. So we'll probably draw a few Oracle cards for each deck, depending on which pile you pick. start off with the dog tarot all right so yeah okay three biscuits the sun and the fool. All right, so I definitely see um, you having a lot of fun this summer. Lots of treats. There's a rainbow here. Uh, just enjoying the outdoors, maybe even some travel here. And just being carefree and uh, chasing butterflies. Right? Maybe even um, going to festivals. I feel like you're going away to Europe or Spain. Uh, you're kind of without a care in the world here. You are very abundant. 
have a lot of good things going for you. You're just relaxing, vacationing. Um, I feel like you might be doing this alone too. This might be some sort of spiritual retreat to where you are just relaxing and enjoying yourself, enjoying mother nature, getting out. Very happy, loving, charismatic feeling here. Um, here in the sunshine and the rain. I feel like I'm singing two songs all at once in my head here. So I don't know if there's a song that says sunshine and the rain, but there is a song. Um, the rain against my window. Interesting. Um, yeah, so something about rain, you know, because we have the rainbow, we have to have the sun and the rain. So wherever it is you're in the world, um, it is also raining there. It is sunny also, it is summertime, but it is also raining. Uh, it feels like you're just trying to be a kid. Go out and have fun. Explore new things, transform, right? Learn history about <clears throat> different areas. Okay, we have Aries. First house, arrival, and Aquarius, collaborate. Okay, so I feel like you're really moving forward quickly here with this. This is happening like right now. Um, you are arriving, you have arrived. So you might already be there. Uh, maybe you're meeting someone there because I do feel like you are alone here and exploring, uh, but we do have the collaborate here. Okay, and then we have one, two. So it's a progressive. This is has three, one here. So it's kind of like moving backwards a little bit. Um, This is a 12, that's a three. So this is about creativity. Um, let me see, I think this one's a 13 V111 in Roman numerals. It's a four, it's a foundation. So um, <clears throat> maybe you're an Aries or an Aquarius. Maybe you're meeting an Aquarius. I feel like you are the Aries because you're the one acting and you are arriving here and you're going to collaborate with an Aquarius here. This could even be like a business trip. Um, I really do feel like this is some sort of spiritual healing trip that you're going on though because of these hands here we have like the divine source this is like the hand of god and then we have the two hands here or it's pouring out the water so you might be going somewhere to pour out your emotions and you're very steadfast about this and ready to go you are prepared
Okay, 26, relax and hold of darkness and be at cause. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. Eight, this is manifesting. you are um, really embracing the spirituality here and being a part of mother nature oh my gosh is it like all the same ones I drew the other day I did shuffle these <laughs> so we have 29 seeing the true you And we have 19. Dream a beautiful dream. Yeah, so I definitely feel like you're manifesting something new here. Um, you're diving deep into your emotions and really just learning how to relax and enjoy life. Um, the fruits of your labor, the treats, treating yourself, having a good time enjoying uh, festivals it might even be like a renaissance fair or like a, a circus because this dog is wearing this little jester costume uh, it does really remind me of european style and then we have uh, these ruins and these castles in the back but you're definitely going to be spending time outdoors. There's a lot of outdoors feeling here, really connecting with nature, um, taking a look at yourself. And then we do have the tea here again. So um, you know, tea, tea and crumpets, you know, uh, what is that like British? So we have civil servant, guardian of public good, public official, administrative duty, public administration. We have waiter, attendant of hospitality, steward, cleaner. All right, so if you're like staying in hotels here, do you feel like um, this has a lot to do, you know, with the government here? Um, Maybe that's like getting on the plane. <clears throat> and, you know, like going through TSA. Um, and then once you get there, you get to the hotel, you go out, you're eating, you know, at these fancy restaurants. You have night, keeper of honor, armor, battle, loyalty. All right, so once again, we have this kind of feeling of uh, this old castles with the, the gesture who would entertain the king. And we have chef, culinary maestro, cooking, culinary artistry, seasoning, proficiency. All right, so yeah, you're definitely going out and trying a lot of different restaurants. Maybe you are even... Um, you call that like somebody who goes to the different restaurants and critiques the restaurant um, this could be for some sort of a government job that you have Yeah. 
definitely, I definitely feel like you were in Europe. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, maybe you just love gourmet food and um, critiquing food. Right? Because this is guardian of the public good. So you're making sure like you um, are an inspector and you go to and inspect uh, a restaurant to make sure that it has, you know, a certain grade. Uh, making sure that everything's safe, the way that things are being run, the way things are being stored and cooked. Um, and I feel like you're a really honest person. So you're not trying to just give these people a good grade and you're not going to um, take any kind of money to say, yeah, you have a grade A restaurant when really it's a D uh, just because these people pay you out right you have honor so you are speaking the truth about this place okay I own I am my own source of happiness. My relationships are a bonus. Always move into a relationship by choice. Never allow internal voids to push you into a relationship in an attempt to fill a tiny hole. No pun intended. Never enter into a relationship because you want to be loved. The magic begins during the hunt inside yourself. Your partner is a bonus. A companion in your own journey, compatible and thrilling, but never your source of happiness. Happiness is self-love, soul-searching, filling yourself with compassion and understanding what truly makes your heart beat. Unconditional internal self-love is unconditional external love for your relationships in the world. Okay, and um, I consciously connect with my meals one bite at a time, right? This definitely goes with everything else here with the waiter and the chef. Um, sharing a meal was once a sacred ritual for all living creatures. Though we still depend on food for survival, much of the developed world has forgotten the sacredness of the meal thanks to the easy access and the busyness of life. What if you slowed down, closed your eyes, and dedicated all your senses to each bite of a meal? What is the aroma, texture, and flavor? Where did this food come from? What sacrifice, cultivation, and transportation occurred for this food to end up in your belly? Providing you with energy and new life source, every meal should be a Thanksgiving. Right, so like I was saying, you, you taste the food, right? And so you're really tasting all the flavors and where they came from. Um, you know, is this like a farm, farmed fork type of a meal? And um, really connecting with that meal. All right, well, have fun in Europe eating gourmet food. That is your reading, dear pile number one. Okay. And pile number two. Okay, we have strength. You will receive what you deserve. Karma will fulfill itself. There is a balance of fairness. And she is sweeping something under the rug or behind the curtain here. The Empress, you have it all. Know your value and get respect. 
Enjoy your life to the fullest. Indulge in art, music, and dance. Become the divine feminine, her most evolved state. And the tower. In times of crisis, face the changes with grace. All right, so this kind of feels like, you know, like some sort of like the fall of some sort of like government, right? Um, I feel like somebody was sweeping something under the rug and uh, being shysty. You know, or there's some sort of higher power to where, you know, you are this queen, this empress, and you have a maid and they are doing something shysty towards you. Maybe they have stolen some sort of art because we do have indulgent art, music, and dance. And it's almost like the reveal of the art here. And this is somebody that's standing there in a museum staring at this art and interpreting it interpreting it <laughs> you know what does this this gray mean here on the wall right and she doesn't even look like she has like a walkman on so she could be listening to something um like if you go to alcatraz uh, well, at least back in the 80s, they used to have little Walkmans that you would put on and it would be like a self-guided tour, just listening to this recording. I don't know if they still do that or not. Gemini, cross-pollinate. Gemini is the twins, right? So you could be like opposing sides, like there's a good side of you and then there's that bad side of you. Sagittarius, expand. Also got that yesterday. And Neptune, Vision, also got that yesterday. <laughs> so a lot of the same cards pop out a lot. Um, you know, and when I put them back, I actually split the deck and I put them each in a different spot and then I shuffle the cards. And it's funny how a lot of these readings will have exactly the same cards popping out all the time. It's like I haven't even seen half my deck because the same cards pop out all the time. So we have cross pollinate, expand and vision. So yeah, I think you do need to look at the situation and um, kind of the hanged man energy where you need to look at another perspective. Um, maybe even me doing some sort of um, wow, words are escaping me today. Um, detective work, right? Maybe you need to figure out who did this and you really need to look into things. Holy cow, I literally got this one just the last reading on pile number one. 26, relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. 
right? Got this yesterday, got this in pile number one. Here we go, that's a new one. 14, going beyond normal. See, I've never seen this card before. This one's interesting. She's got a clock on her forehead. Um, looks like maybe a key with a chain hanging out of her mouth, a golden light bulb above her head, and a bunch of little buttons all around here. You know, like sewing the pieces together, getting that idea, um, you know, maybe the time that goes by. And we got this the other day too. Uh, 32, faith in the process. Right, so trust your instinct that you, you have this gut feeling. We have five, five, it's eight, manifestation, manifesting change. Sounds like I just got a delivery. So, you know, have faith in yourself in doing this detective work to figure out what's going on. Um, You know, you going beyond the normal, like thinking outside the box, really sewing it together, <clears throat> holding it together. You know, this could be very stressful, maybe. Okay, we have Madman, Embracer of Madness, Frenzy, Chaos, Unruly, Possession. Yeah, so feel like somebody has stolen some artwork here. Player. Socialite of charm, excellence, or elegance. Expert of romance, leisurely life. Somebody who really came in and charmed maybe the maid to steal this artwork from your house maybe. Coach, train, nurture, develop a plan, encourage and support. Yeah, maybe you're leading this, um, this crew of people who are trying to figure out what's going on and where this artwork went. And we have musician, composer of harmony, creation, passion, soulful sound, celebration. All right, so I feel like you did find your artwork. Um, You knew who this person was. And I feel like maybe they were really coached to do this. Like they're part of um, some sort of weird inner circle that, um, like a gang that steals art. And they were coached. Um, but because we have the musician here, I do feel like you were able to find this artwork. You know, we did say about dance too. So um, maybe you're dancing now. <laughs> this one I got the other day too. The magnitude of my power is always in the now. It's madness to freak out about the future because it hasn't happened yet. It is not guaranteed. What happens if you shift your focus to the power if you have the power you have in each moment? Steps turn into miles, which turn into globe trotting. Kisses turn into sexy time, which turns into babies. Words turn into pages, which turn into novels. Notes turn into songs, which turn into symphonies. Go slow, steady with your intent. If you really understood the enormousness of your power, you wouldn't be scared of shit. Yeah, so this is like the baby steps of, um, looking into this, right? Because it, it, it takes a lot to figure that out, to be a detective. 
As I follow my wishing heart, I encourage others to start. When you garden with passion flowers and add fresh growth to the collective trees of life by honoring your excitement and watering your dream seeds, you permit others to open their wacky wings and take flight too. Listen to the song if your wishing heart of your wishing heart and share what lights you up. You may not know if your sharing is helping, but trust that it is. Right, so that is like, uh, reminds me if you're interviewing people about like, what did you see, right? Trust what you did see and share it. Because it's helping them to find this, right? The stolen artifacts. But trust that it is, even if nobody seems receptive, caring, or supportive, Release all expectations of feedback and trust the flow. Those in need will see you doing your sweet ass thing and start watering your dream seeds too. Soon enough, you'll all be twerking at the top of the Freedom Towers. All right, here's the tower card here. Um, the world needs your guidance much more than you know, right? So yeah. Um, follow your heart continue with that detective work you're doing great um you know follow the sounds of your heart just dance and um and enjoy the good things of life all right enjoy your celebration really recognize that you did a great job okay all right, pile number two. Thank you. This was your reading. <clears throat> and pile number three. Oh, all right. We have the Empress and we have the Influencer. And we have the Child. Right, so I do feel like you're really nurturing something here. <clears throat> uh, this could be a business that you have um, as an influencer. You're doing something online. You're really exposing yourself to the world and making your wishes come true. Okay, this could have something to do with children. Maybe you have um, like a daycare or something because you know, even if you're not doing something online, you're still an influencer to this child. You are um, teaching this child about life. Pluto, rebirth, right? Sagittarius, expand. That one keeps coming out. Saggies. And solar calm, clarify. Yeah, I definitely think that you're teaching children. Uh, maybe you have a daycare. Uh, or you're a teacher and you're sharing your wisdom definitely six seven your and your spirituality right you are very aligned with your chakras and you are able to nurture Seventeen, what is already with you? So you already have this knowledge, right? 
So it's not like there's anything more that you need to necessarily learn in order to teach these children. 38, restore and replenish. All right, taking naps, really nurturing yourself. And 35, conscious connections. All right, I feel like you're a very healing soul who really loves children and is very, very nurturing. And, you know, children have a lot of questions, so you have to kind of clarify, expand and clarify, right? It's the rebirth of the knowing. Gambler, risk taker of faith. Speculation, addiction, debt, fortune. All right, I feel like you're kind of taking a risk here in starting this business. You're putting a lot of money into it. And um, yeah, you really have to kind of nurture that business as well. And maybe you'll even be making a lot of money from it. Oh, lost soul, seeker of clarity, wanderer, confusion, defeat, struggle, right? You kind of have to um, play cop when you have a lot of children, you know, because they don't really know that much, right? So you have to teach them about how to treat others, how to treat themselves. So there can be a little bit of confusion and struggle and you have to teach these children. Architect, weaver blueprints, planning, design, supervision, construction. Yeah, you have to supervise, right? And you're building this new business. So you really are planning some stuff out. Maybe you're feeling a little lost about this because you are having to put so much money into it. Singer, resonance, moving hearts, harmony, emotion, performance. Yeah, and you're singing little lullabies to these children to help them sleep, right? A little bit of a performer. Hey, death is my home. Death is divine. If you lived each day as if it were your last, how would you, your experience change? You probably wouldn't complain about the weather, whine about your job, or think things like, why can't I catch a break? Instead, you'd be outraging in your undies in the middle of a rainstorm, climbing up an apple tree, shedding tears to the beauty of the natural world. You'd be yelling, Calabunga, as you swing down from a branch into the puddle of glorious mud, the elixir of earth, you wouldn't be resentful or entitled. You'd be appreciative and full of love. The closer you hang to your homie, death, the more your moments come alive. Yeah, so this is, um, you know, get out of this like lost soul. Don't worry about how much money you're spending on it and uh, live it like it's your last day, right? Because you're not gonna care how much money you're spending to build this company if it's your last day on earth, right? You're just gonna do it. You're just gonna spend all your money to do it. As I submerge my body in mother nature, I heal all my hurts. Before concrete juggles, rubber shoes, sterile hospital delivery rooms, carpets, paints, plastic bottles, and cubicles, your tough ass ancestors evolved and survived over millions of years in direct connection connectivity with the earth. It's like grounding yourself, right? Just ground yourself. They were bare assed absorbing antioxidants, vitamins, critical aminos and dense nutrients through untainted soils. 
natural water sources and rejuvenating sunlight. Nature is the ultimate healer physically, mentally, and spiritually. There is a reason why ideas explode. Inflammation disappears and stress retreats when exploring the outdoors. Take off your shoes and grab some bananas. Yo, it's time to monkey around. Yeah. So just relax about it. Ground yourself. Um, don't think too much about the unworldly things, right? It's already a part of your nature. It's to be able to take care of these children in a profound way. I feel like you're very spiritual and you have a lot to teach. And um, there's nothing that you need to worry about. Okay. So thank you, pile number three. This was your reading. Okay, thank you for being here with me at The One Who Seeks. Uh, I hope those were useful to you. I know it was a little sporadic. Um, I tried to make them as quick as possible. Um, and these are decks I don't normally use and I don't use them together. So um, I hope the message came through for you. Uh, if you enjoyed this reading, uh, please share, like, and subscribe. Let others know about One Who Seeks. Go to onewhoseeks.info and schedule your personal reading and get swag. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.